Hey guys, I did this little video behind the scenes vlog for Cam and I to recap our trip to Vegas. Hope you enjoy. So right before the trip, I took my boys to the salt caves in Reading. Uh, I was feeling a little congested from the allergies, so this really helped clear everything up. My boys had a blast too. If you're suffering from any kind of congestion, this is the spot to be. All right, Cam, let's talk about your flight to Vegas. It was miserable-ish. Well, what was so miserable about it? I got blamed for water incident. The person next to us, terrible. What, what do you mean water incident? What happened? So it was my bag, Caleb's bag, and two other people's bag. That bag was soaking wet. The other guys was wet. Caleb's bag wasn't wet. My bag wasn't wet. And they all blamed it on me. Even Caleb, I think. Yeah, really? I think Caleb. Even he threw you under the bus, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then they had to hand us all of our bags and my water bottle. Our bags weren't wet. The other people were. So it was your fault? Yeah, but I guess so. It was all my fault. Yeah. Yeah. That stings. Yeah. So how was it when you guys landed in Vegas? It was tiring. Really tiring. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't sleep on the plane that much. And when we went to go pick up the car, right after we got out of the airport, directly, yeah, directly out of the airport, we got a taxi. The guy in the taxi was like talking so quiet. He's like, blah, blah, blah. You mean like you usually do? <laughs> no, no, he was terrible. We, we couldn't even understand him at all. We missed our turn a couple times. And then we finally found a good place. For our car, we got to pick it up. What kind of car did you guys get? Um, a yellow... Or Mustang? Mustang. Yellow Mustang? Mustang. Yeah, a convertible. Oh, convertible. Did you guys put the top down? Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How was the weather over there in Vegas? Hot. Really hot. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. And the hotel, how was that? The first one was really nice. And then the second one, and it was kind of nice. There were a lot of people there? A lot of wrestlers? At the hotel? Yeah. No. 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 Because our hotel, the tournament was like a mile away. Oh, so you and had to drive there? It was inside. A term, the tournament was inside of a hotel, so everybody was at that hotel. Gotcha. Yeah. Right on. Well, all in all, how did you think it went? It went, it went good. I saw a lot of cool people. Met a ton of people. Met a ton of my friends in different states. Yeah, the kids you travel with? Yeah, all the kids. Right on. Some of them got first. One of the kids just like went easy on everybody all the way to the finals and beat everybody. Oh, that's your buddy Skellinger, right? Yes, yeah, buddy. Skelly, right on. Yeah. That kid's an animal. So I heard you had a little bit of a stomach bug over there too, huh? Yep, me and Caleb were throwing up all night. I was, I'm usually like 93, 94. I was winning in that like 89, 88. <laughs> felt amazing. Yeah, that's always nice feeling like that heading out on the mat, huh? Yep. Right on. Freestyle, I was out of it. I couldn't do anything. And then Greco, I was still a little sick, but I was more into it. Cam's mom, Mary, dropped us off at the airport. We were just getting settled in when we realized Cam forgot a couple things. The Colgate one? Awesome. With the toothpaste on it? Yeah. And your water bottle? I don't really need that. You do need water. Be good to have. Three days. Three days. Going to get the forgotten clothes and water bottle. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Be like Riot. <laughs> You're the same. <laughs> See ya. Now time to go to our gate. I swear this guy was Gary Payton. Don't want to put it in the back. No, I want to lose it. You're gonna lose it. I'm holding on to it. No, I always hold on to this stuff. <laughs> That's why you lose things. That's why you forgot it in the car. Yeah, Mom, I got everything. <laughs>
I was sleeping in the car. <laughs> I fell asleep as it has a blanket, so I heard that up. What are we doing in Vegas? Wrestling at the US Open. Cam's wrestling U15s, trying to make a pan American team. I'm coming out of retirement. Gonna try to wrestle some, some college guys. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Why do you hate Vegas? It smells like cigarettes. <laughs> I guess it was causing people like to get in accidents. They had to turn it off. Like they would look at it as they're driving, and so they were getting in accidents. So they had to like turn it off during sometimes of the day. All right, Cam, get in the rental. <laughs> You're driving. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's this guy. Cam, you're yeah. not allowed to drive. <laughs> what? You're too young. I'm 18. <laughs> you wish. Can you hear my voice? All right. Always wanted to drive one of these. Off to wrestle in the U.S. Open. I'm wrestling today. Cam's wrestling tomorrow, and then this weekend. This has always been a bucket list for me to wrestle in. I've always wanted to wrestle the Senior Open. Um, I never got the chance to. So when Cam decided to come, I was like, "Well, I'm in shape. I'm on weight." Might as well try it out. So we had some front row seats to watch some great matches. That was Zahid, trying to put that guy's face through the mat. He's one of my favorite wrestlers out of California. Goes for the head pinch there, gets the two takedown, easy gut wrench. Now here's Gable Stevenson, Olympic gold medalist. Easy work. Part of the fun of these tournaments is you get to watch the Olympic hopefuls and some of the goats go at it. Here's my match. So this kid was a Northern Iowa kid, coached by Ben Askren. So you can see I use the Kimura grip here, um, but if you slow it down, this guy actually puts the Kimura behind his back as he tries to hip over and gain points. Um, so this was not technically illegal, but they stopped it and stood us back up because that arm went behind the back. Um, but I think it was because he tried to do that on purpose. Anyway, kid was good. Um, I had trouble turning him, trying to use some of my tricks. But real solid wrestler. Here he gets me and I try to do the turn. I don't get any points, but I thought I should have. Here I try for an anaconda throw. Doesn't quite work, but I get it on this kid. I go for a crotch lift. He catches my arm, rolls me for two, but I get him back here, roll him back over for two more. Now I got the rusty lock, I'm trying to push him out. He goes for a throw here. I wizard down, get the point. Here, I go for the Mark Schultz knee behind, take his back. Right into the Mikey Peterson counter. Mikey Vassar invented that move back when we were in high school. So this next part, Get him, Caleb. I had to speed up because it takes forever. For some reason this ref doesn't like me, but you couldn't literally slide a paper under this kid's shoulder blades. Uh, we sat here for a good minute and thought we were going to stay here for the whole match because we were just kind of stuck. Um, this ref couldn't call it in. So we're just chilling. Enjoy. And as he gets out, I go to my trusty high gut and get two more. This is how you properly use a Kimura in wrestling. And high gut again. Whip around, far ankle drill. We used to do this every day in practice to hone our funking skills. Actually get the takedown here. And this is the end of the match where I just make stuff up on the fly to get the tech. I try for some funky scramble move here. Probably should have gave up points, but 
The ref surprisingly didn't call any points for this exchange. Uh, quite, quite a lot of movement for no points. Here, I get a nice chest wrap. Yeah. For four. And one more for two. Come on, Caleb. Go for my crotch lift into a cradle, get it locked up, and the ref stands us out. Nice little two-one exchange there. He goes for the pick. I got my Russian. And I go for my standing cowboy here for four. All right, so just got done with day two weigh-ins for Cam, or day one for him, but day two uh, of the tournament for us. Cam made weight uh, fairly easily. Um, unfortunately, uh, both of us were throwing up last night. Um, we were, got the stomach bug, I guess. So Cam made weight fairly easily. Um, but we're dealing with that. But luckily he doesn't have to wrestle until four o'clock today. Um, so we're getting some rest and we just got some Pepto-Bismol and Tums and anything we can get to, to make him feel better. So, you know, not making excuses is part of the game. You know, I have had wrestlers at state sections, nationals all, all be sick before. You just gotta put your best foot forward and wrestle. So that's what we're gonna do. We got a little nap in. Cam's feeling better. I'm feeling a little better too. We're gonna go try to get some food down and then try to wrestle. I'm all sick anymore. I have to feed my stomach. I finally pooped on the ship, so now I'm ready to wrestle. <sighs> all right, so even though Cam was feeling better, he still wasn't 100%. Um, he wrestled well, but as you can see in a lot of these clips, he's kind of letting the other guy go first and then he's countering. Um, it was pretty tough just because he didn't have his full energy, but still got a five out of the deal. Still wrestled his heart out. I'm real proud of him. Well, the day didn't go as planned. Cam went one and two, matched me for a freestyle record. We're gonna get some rest. We're feeling a little better. Cam felt like he was gonna puke a little bit in that last match. Still feeling a little pukey. Um, but we're gonna get some rest tomorrow. Uh, he doesn't have to weigh in tomorrow, so we'll get some food in him. Uh, and then he'll weigh in and go Greco on Sunday. And we'll get revenge on all the people who beat us and he'll take gold, right? Well, we're gonna go drown our sorrows in some sushi. This is a place Tanner and I found. It's called URB Sushi, one of our favorite spots. Cam is not gonna eat any ginger though. He doesn't think it's good for your stomach. It's terrible. Scientifically proven that it helps. kind of sushi? You don't know? I, I've only eaten sushi like two times. Favorite kind of fish? Trout. Trout? trout. I don't think they have trout. Trout or bass? <laughs> tuna? Tuna? There you go. They got they got tuna. Hopefully. Not in a can though. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, you said you do it every time. This stuff is overwhelming. <laughs> Smell it. Oh, I know. It's good. It's real stuff. <laughs> Nostrils open up. <laughs> Sushi cam. Filling. Filling? Yeah. What did you think about the California roll? Amazing. Except the um, zucchini. Cucumber? Cucumber. Yeah. Same, same species. 
What? Species? Yeah. <laughs> what? A vegetable. <laughs> Same family. Salmon roll. It's too chewy. Too chewy. Too sticky to my fingers. Because yeah. I lost my other chopstick. You're going to sleep good tonight. Oh, yeah. Ready for Greco on Sunday. If I make weight now. <laughs> you will. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> and this was from earlier in the day this was the finals for the freestyle open uh, this is Vito taking on DeSanto getting easy easy work it's a nice lace here and rolls him up for a quick 10 and he is your final X qualifier what a stud one of my favorite wrestlers he was on a roll this year at the NCAAs if you didn't watch it. Day four. We didn't video yesterday because we were just in bed all day. It wasn't really much to video. Uh, what'd you weigh today? 40.1 kilos. Nice. Way under. A lot of waiting. All right, so Cam finally gets to wrestle. He's wrestling the same kid, unfortunately. Poor kid. Knocked him out of the tournament twice. It's a nice headlock here. Gets him yeah, over. Yeah, there you go. Goes for his reverse lift. Gets a nice two and the win. So we just finished day four, last day of wrestling. We didn't hit our goal. Cam was one one match away from placing. So we were right there. Um, by wrestling with the best in the, in the nation, some of the best in the world. Uh, you're gonna catch some lumps and, and grow a little bit. That's just kind of part of the game. Training camp for next year starts now. We'll be training hard. Get back in the wind, Colin. Uh, thanks for following. It's a fun trip. We'll see you guys soon. What do you think about this weekend? I wrestled terribly. This was probably one of the biggest, besides Estonia, probably the biggest target you've wrestled. What's your favorite wrestling style? Greco. Why? Because yeah. I hate leg races. Because <laughs> you hate leg races? Okay, you that. Everything. Be more aggressive. Be better on the belly. Was it fun to watch the Olympic guys? Yeah. Wow. It was super fun. Who's your favorite to watch? Nishan. Nishan. I want to go home and go to sleep. We gotta return the beautiful Mustang. Technically, we don't have to. We could be fugitives. Take off. Live in beautiful Nevada. We'll take Redding in again. What do you think of the Mustang? Pretty fun. Fast. Fast car. I drove it responsibly though. Only two tickets. So, even though the trip didn't go as planned, these kinds of trips are very valuable for young wrestlers, not only because of the level of competition, um, but just being around the greatness, all of the studs, all the best wrestlers in the world. Just being able to touch elbows with those guys, warm up on the same mat as some of the best. What you can take home from it is you see these guys and you realize they're human. They have two arms, two legs, flesh and blood. They're not much different than us. What they got is achievable. It's not impossible. Now it takes a ton of work. Here you see David Taylor and Kale Sanderson getting an extra workout in. Kale and David weren't wrestling that weekend, but they were getting extra work in. Same thing with Burroughs and Tank here. You know, they put the time in. They reap the rewards. At the end of the day, it's a journey. You gotta enjoy the little things.